Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stephen Breach coming to you here today. We're talking about the AFC Championship game, which is basically set in stone. As of right now, the Kansas City Chiefs up really big in the fourth quarter, 51-31, to 31, setting up Kansas City um, versus uh, the Tennessee Titans. This is just honestly one of those games that... Um, really goes down. I, I mean, basically, if you are a Houston Texans fan and you were watching this game earlier in the afternoon about two hours ago, you were possibly looking at tickets uh, to, to find some way um, to, to fly in to, to make sure that you were going to be able to see your team go play in the AFC Championship game. And by the end, your, your season's done. I, I mean, the, the Houston Texans started off so well, and Kansas City poured in so much heart in order to get there. Uh, Tennessee, they pulled off um, uh, one hell of a comeback. Or not, they didn't even have a comeback, but it was it just one hell of a story to beat the Baltimore Ravens. Um, possibly one of the teams that uh, a lot of people thought... Um, was one of the favorites uh, to go in there. And uh, Baltimore uh, played a game a lot like last year's playoff game where they just fell flat. Um, Jackson really wasn't able to get anything done against Tennessee's defense. They just formed a package that just surrounded him, and, and he really didn't have anywhere um, to go with the ball. Um, as of right now, just looking at it, with Kansas City's powerful offense, unless they just start out dreadful, um, the same way that they started out today. I mean, it'd be hard to pick against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense, um, the, especially when you're looking at Tennessee, um, which is just basically led out there um, by uh, Ryan Tannehill, guy who stuck around with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, his career there was eight or nine years. We'd look at that. I mean, how much playing time did you really have there? It seemed like the guy was always injured and rehabbed and Miami was holding on to something that I really never saw what they thought they had. Um, he goes there, he takes the job from Mariota and uh, he's, he's just one of those quarterbacks that they put out there and basically say, if you don't make a mistake, we're going to make sure that the defense puts you in a situation um, where, where we're going to be set up to win. We don't need anything really big from you. Just don't make mistakes on offense and give points away. Um, and we're going to be all right. Um, Henry ran the ball really well against the Ravens. He had 195 yards rushing. They have a day like that. They really have a chance to survive against the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. But as of right now, I think, honestly, the, the deck is stacked against them. Tennessee came in with a record of 9-7 and seven in the regular season. Um, they're sort of that feel-good story. Maybe they make a few moves um, in the offseason. They'll be ready for next year. But as of right now, I think it's hard to bet against the Kansas City Chiefs.